Black Student Alliance is a safe place slash club where all kids of all diverse backgrounds can come in and talk about race and what we believe our challenges are and how what we can do to fix them. It's, it's a community. It's a really tightly bounded community of black students. We discuss all different types of issues, current or um, in the past. BSA to me is something that's essential um, for all black students. As it's grown, it's become more than just a safe space as kind of a platform for me to make change in a more impactful way than just through conversation. Um, and while I do think conversation is very important, BSA allows me to do something more tangible, whether it's through tutoring or um, buying gifts for the uh, family during the holidays. Some of the community service engagement that BSA at Bowler High has done was adopt a family, tutoring, as well as just raising awareness overall in the Boulder area. Adopt a family is where we raised over a thousand dollars to for a single black mother and her child to who were previously homeless. Just provide for this family and get them a, basic essential needs like um, towels and clothes and even food um, around Christmas time. And I wrapped the gifts with a bunch of other kids. I think it was so important that we did this. Um, with COVID happening, there are obviously going to be families struggling. And I don't know, I think it was just really important that we support and help um, our fellow minorities who really are struggling at the moment. And from the entire process, that was one of the most heartwarming things I've ever done as a person. Education can be very lopsided throughout the country. Um, the rich tend to have more resources and therefore get a better education, which only propels them further. Um, and because education is so important in the success in life, how much money your parents have or like your zip code where you're born can play a great deal into how well you do. So to counter counteract that, I thought, hey, I'm privileged enough to live in Boulder and be generally well off. Um, I should see if I could tutor kids who don't have the same advantages that I do. So I reached out to a bunch of principals and vice principals in the district to ask if um, I could provide my services. And uh, for a couple of months, I tutored three different kids. I did help with building the allies meeting and um, getting more people into there. So I'm really proud of that. The allies meeting are different from the normal executive meetings for us. Um, in the executive meetings, we talk more about like um, more serious matters that we wouldn't feel comfortable talking with these allies. We talk about um, culture appropriation and things like that. So very serious things, especially like the Black Lives Matter movements, we talk about that. Um, in the allies meeting, we're slowly bringing them in. It's something that we only started this year and so it's very delicate for us. So to be able to ease them in is what we're doing. So we talk about like stereotypes. We've talked about like um, stereotypes between white people, black people, Mexicans, all kinds of things. Being able to see both that mother and son's bond and being so overjoyed with all the things that they got. And especially because I know what that feels like. I am the daughter of a single black mother. So we've been through hardships, but you know, at the end of the day, we still made it. So it felt really heartwarming to see that at least there was someone there for them. Often I feel a lot of black people or non-black people too talk about black, um, what is it called, black sadness. I mean, I don't know what to, else to call it, but, and it's not really talk, majority talk about black joy. And I think it's very, much appreciated to talk more about Black Joy because we have a lot of that too and it's not all about the things that we've been through, it's the things that we've gotten over, you know? Seeing, talking, and experiencing Black Joy is way better than talking and seeing Black depression or Black sadness or anything that has a negative connotation with Black anything. It just felt great to touch our community, impact our community, especially in the black community where mostly I think Boulder is a predominantly white place. So having to, having that little impact that we did, I feel overall it's kind of like a domino step to have a bigger impact on other people and other communities. Being able to also build like this 
um, safe space for all people is really great. Um, like the whole Asian movement too. We talked a lot about that and how it's the same as Black Lives Matter movement and how it's so different and how people are like reacting to it and how differently those reactions were. We like talking about that too. I think it's really helped. It's so helped me be able to connect more with my family, just being able to tell them about these allied meetings and being able to talk to my friends about it. There's always more I could do. Um, and in that, there's kind of like motivation to do better, like try my hardest to kind of reach towards that goal. Even if I know that I won't be perfectly satisfied, I'll you know still be somewhat happy with the work that I did make. One of the kids did, he, he had a math uh, quiz and he like came to me the next time I saw him and was like super happy because he was like, yeah, I got a, you know, 85 or whatever. Um, and it's because of you and what you said really helped. And I was like, oh, yes, that's great. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, somewhat of a real uh, impact. What the community service will do for me is it'll encourage me to be a better person and not just to strive to in, you know, improve myself with BSA, but to help others. I'm going to a um, predominantly white institution for college next year, and I want more than anything to start a club, like a, a Black Student Alliance club there, and do the same things that we've been doing. You know, um, not just talk about what it's like to be black and to feel inclusive and stuff, but to to put ourselves out there. And to do that, we need to have things like community service, helping others, um, so we can kind of show our true colors. Being helpful to others, doing community service, and being part of their bigger things has nothing to do with age, race, or ethnicity. Honestly, you can be anyone, be do anything, and help impact the world, whether that be in your own community or in others. I've always been a really empathetic person. I've always wanted to help those in need. And I think this just kind of perpetuated the idea of helping others. And I, I want to go into the medical field. So in natural light, that's helping others. And I'm, I mean, more than anything, I'd like to help my community. Being able to uplift people, that's incredible. And I, I want to continue to help people as much as I can, because I was fortunate enough to live in Boulder and go to an amazing school with great education. So if I can help people have the same pride as I do and take advantage of all the privilege they have and just uplift people, that would be great. I'm more than happy to dedicate my life to doing that. I feel so great just being around them. Every time, every week that we are going, I'm just so excited to be a part of this group. Like, I just feel like I'm a better person. Every single meeting I come out, a better person than I was before, a more confident person than I was before more happy. I felt, you know, instead of seeing things as, oh, I'm different, you know, I'm, I'm um, standing out. I feel self-conscious. I'm more, you know, I'm special. I'm proud of who I am. And I see myself better because I'm different from everyone else. BSA really ignited this black pride and joy and helped me really recognize and understand my cultural identity more. And I don't know, I think BSA is purely the definition of black excellence. And I've never felt so empowered to be who I am. And I just walk with so much pride. And that's something I really haven't walked around with in my life. And oh, I, don't, I don't even, I can't really even begin to describe just how joyous I feel when I'm surrounded by such a loving community who understands what it's like to be in my shoes. Joining Blackstone Alliance BSA has been one of the greatest choices I've ever made. And I feel so empowered to be a Black student at Boulder High because of it. So what exactly is freedom to me? Well, freedom to me is being able to go about one's daily life without having to worry about the inconveniences such as due to your race, your ethnicity, your socioeconomic background, or your identity. That's freedom to me. I guess freedom to me is being able to like be yourself and not be discriminated against, to express yourself how you want, and to just live your life with everyone else without being scared. So I'd say freedom is the ability to be what you want and strive for what you think is important. All right, well, um, to me, freedom is all in the mind. It's all about your mindset and um, how you perceive the world 
and you know what you want to do with yourself and it's just all about what you think it's not really it's just about not caring about what anyone else thinks of you freedom to me is autonomy over the body mind and soul um, to be free is to act against your own will or act for your own will and against anyone else's Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Um, I think this is really important to me and Black Student Alliance. Very complicated. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow. Looks <laughs> good, guys. I like the quote. That's really fun. Every smile. Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. I'm Dr. James Hill, principal at Boulder High School. I'm here to share with you how incredibly proud I am of our students and our Black Student Alliance. From their work around equity, to exposing racial injustice, to mentoring younger students. Our BSA members exemplifies everything we look for at Boulder High School and in our Boulder High School community. Thank you for supporting these great students. I know I'm proud to call them Boulder High School Panthers. Thank you.